this is something that just seeps, seems to keep coming back around um, in the last few years, birthright citizenship executive order. So the Trump administration is almost over and they still are uh, doing lots of crazy immigration shenanigans. And one of the uh, reported potential things, this has not taken place yet, but it's reported that they are potentially going to release an executive order that, um, that impacts birthright citizenship or attempts to, okay, it's not gonna actually impact it, but it, it could attempt to get it into the court system and it certainly would get it in the court system very quickly. Um, so I wanna just talk about what that actually means and um, kind of some of the, a little bit of the nerdy details. You know, one thing for all the uh, shade I like to throw on the Trump administration because he <laughs> made my life difficult and caused a lot of people to suffer, which I don't appreciate. Um, but they do allow us to have lots of nerdy discussions about the law that no one would have been interested in uh, before they brought it into the top into the the news. So I guess there's a little bit of good in everything. Um, but so birthright citizenship is just the concept that people born on U.S. soil are you know U.S. citizens at, at birth, and it does not matter what the status, the immigration status of your parents are. It just matters if you know if you're born here you become a US citizen. You know, there are lots of um, strategic reasons and policy reasons why countries do that, basically because countries that don't do that end up having a problem where you have an entire gen, people for generations can be out of status. It just creates a lot of social problems um, and it can be very, um, it cre kind of create multiple classes of people that they can, you know, permanently no one can escape. And um, there are a lot of social reasons why, why a lot of countries don't do that. But anyway, so it's actually written into our constitution in the 14th amendment. Um, the 14th amendment says, all persons born or naturalized in the US and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the US and of the state wherein they reside. So it seems, you know, pretty clear, <laughs> pretty much puts it out right there. If you're born, you're born in the US, um, you're a citizen of the US and a citizen of whatever state it is that you're you're living in inside the US. Um, so, you know, people weren't taking this very seriously in general um, because it's just kind of a funny thing to try to dispute just because you don't like the policy doesn't necessarily mean you can reinterpret the constitution the way you want to. Um, <clears throat> and when we've been interpreting it, you know, for 150 years uh, in one clear, obvious direction. And so, but basically what some people are trying to do and kind of what the Trump administration is is trying to a kind of uh, fringe opinion that they're trying to advance has to do with, um, you know, as lawyers were always looking at how could you attack uh, any part of this, you know, and so really there's only one thing that is even remotely not super concrete, even though legally it is super concrete, and that is where it says subject to the jurisdiction thereof. So the argument that some people are trying to advance is saying, well, you were born on U.S. soil but because your parents were immigrants, you actually weren't subject to the U.S.'s jurisdiction. Um, but the problem is that they are subject to the U.S. jurisdiction if they're on U.S. soil and all of our other laws say that you're subject to our jurisdiction anyway. So, um, you know, legal scholars don't really buy that, although people are making very creative arguments on either side. And, you know, as far as a so that's inter it's interesting from a nerdy standpoint, like, OK, this is kind of what this means. This is what this is about. Um, it's more of a political stunt than anything. Does this impact any of you? Does this impact any of you who are pregnant or any of you who are, um, you know, concerned about this or have, um, you know, children born in the U.S. or things like that? I mean, obviously, like, that's how I got my citizenship. So I hope it stands. <laughs> Birthright citizenship born in Ohio. Um, but basically, if they do an executive order that says we're going to reinterpret the Constitution, I mean, it'll be like a millisecond until they're sued immediately and a, a judge immediately uh, pauses that, as we've seen so many times over the course of this administration. That's what we would anticipate seeing. And what would happen then would be that eventually, you know, the, the case could just be thrown out or, or it might move up to the Supreme Court. There's never been a Supreme Court decision specifically saying this is how we interpret the 14th Amendment. Um, but, you know, they would probably interpret it pretty literally because that's what it says. 